Hello everyone, what's up? This is RKV and I welcome you to my YouTube channel known as Unveiled Universe. So, we're gonna unbox the Samsung Galaxy A8 today. It has very decent specs as we begin. Here comes the phone, the cable, the headphones, the adapter, some paperwork and a hard case. We'll strip off the plastic, then we'll start with the phone. It looks great on both front and back. It has glass on both the sides. It has an infinity display with 18.5 into 9 aspect ratio, 1080 into 2220 resolution with a 441 ppi pixel density. It is available in 32 GB and 64 GB variant. It has 4 GB of RAM. It has a processor known as Exynos 7885, which is an octa core processor. And we'll talk about the fingerprint sensor. It's on the right place now. On the bottom, it has the charging port, a headphone jack. On the left side of the phone, we have the SIM 1 tray on the top. A tray for SIM 2 and a memory card slot which supports 200 GB. It looks great. The metal frame looks nice. On the right side of the phone, we have the power button, a dual camera setup on the front for selfie edit guys. I will just boot up the phone and get the fingerprint setup to be done. Now I am done with the fingerprint setup. Now we'll move on as towards the other things. So we'll just check the Android version what it is having. So it's working on Android 7.1.2. It should be upgraded. It is having Bixby, Samsung Pay and a freaking radio for freaking radio guys. If we talk about the processor in this phone. It's a good processor of Exynos 7885 but the phone is a bit expensive it's like $500 everywhere nearly in the world so it's a bit expensive and the Android version is also a bit older if Samsung gives an upgrade to this Android version it would be great for those guys who's going to buy this phone at all now if you talk about the battery it's like 3000 mAh it would last for a long day but not more than one and a half days so guys the one who are going to buy this phone I would prefer them that it's a good phone for you if you are a Samsung user but if you want a powerhouse at this price range you can go with other companies OnePlus 5 MI OnePlus 5T I mean OnePlus 5T is a great option at this price range but if you want a Samsung phone with decent hardware and decent display, this is not a bad phone. You can go for it. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.